Hey yo, what is good ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy Chad, bring y'all another video, man. And in this video, we gotta talk about Balenciaga and their BDSM child ad, right? So I'll just put photos right here just so you can see. And this is pretty much crazy, man. You know, they came out with this ad and shows the kids standing on like a bed holding a teddy bear with BDSM. And if you don't know what BDSM is, just really like, just look it up for yourself, all right? It's, it's definitely adult content, nothing for kids to be displaying. Like, to be honest, the people wouldn't really be outraged if it was adults, you know, doing this type of thing and the advertising, holding the teddy bear with the bondage straps and everything, but it's kids, so people are all upset. Um, So first off, just like, just off rip, I'm kind of just like, what parents agreed for their child to do this? You know, Balenciaga can say, hey, we want the kids to put some teddy bears in their hand with BDSM. But like, if you're a decent parent, I mean, just a decent, you know, like the bar is in hell for where the bar is set. You can just be like, no, I'm not comfortable with my kid doing that. But, you know, nowadays, you know. Parents do all sorts of things, so I, I can't actually answer for them why they would agree to do that, but that was one of my questions I had, just like, what parent would let their kid be in an ad like this? Second, um, where did Balenciaga, how did they green light all this? And what makes it so bad is like, after the fact, people came out outraged, like, there they go, coming after the kids with, you know, sexual content, trying to sexualize kids, which that is an agenda nowadays, sexualizing children, whether talking about it in school, whether making kids go to grown up stuff like drag queen events. And now, you know, you're advertising BDSM adult content through the kids. And it's like Balenciaga green lighted all of this. And like the people said, the photographers and everything, they were like, you know, the Balenciaga head execs were in the room. When we took all the photos. They saw when we took the photos, they were there for the after shoot. They were there during the editing and post-production. They green lighted this. Then Balenciaga comes out. Oh, we're, we're sorry. We didn't know what we were doing. Blah, blah, blah. And every now and then, well, not every now and then, it seems like more and more these companies have been doing this type of woke like demonic, like evil, sick, twisted stuff with kids. And it's, it's, it just gets weird. You know, these brands like um, Rick Owens and the Converse Club, I did a video on that, you know, how they show like them making a pentagram and looking demonic. I'm not saying this has anything to do with kids, but this is another example of a company doing like woke demonic things you even had tony hawk with his skateboards infused with blood you had little nas x with the shoes infused with blood and it's like none of this stuff is by accident you know people may say oh they like i saw on the view they were saying oh they didn't know during this time it was they did this at a wrong time they should have thought better about this no they put it out there thinking people wouldn't say anything or catch it but those who caught it we're like, nah, we're not going for this. Because if you really think about it, after all this time of them doing stuff to kids, you know, it's one thing when they push these agendas on adults and people like, oh, I don't care. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't affect me. It doesn't affect me. But now that they're attacking and they're pushing all these agendas on the kids, it's like people not going for that, bro. People not going for the kids, you know, as a kid, when I was a kid, I didn't know nothing about no BDSM or none of that. And if you did, then, hey, you were a kid who was trying to, you know, find some stuff out. You know, Google after hours. You were doing stuff you weren't supposed to do. But as a kid, my brain was on going outside, hanging out with my friends, riding my bike, playing sports. It was not like, I'm going to do some BDSM with my teddy bear. That, that never crossed my mind. So I'm trying to figure out, like, who was this ad even marketed towards? Because Balenciaga is mad expensive. So there's no real, like kid like children or teenagers to me who would even have the funds to be able to afford this stuff so it's like was it marketed towards kids or was this supposed to be for adults like i don't get it it was with kids and teddy bears bdsm and like if you were an adult when you saw the ad would you be like oh yeah that's gonna make me go buy these teddy bears that have the bdsm straps like was it for adults or was it for kids did balenciaga ever say like that that doesn't 
it's not making sense, bro. It's not making sense. Um, another thing that came to mind is kind of just like these companies are putting this stuff in your face, like I said, on purpose, but also to say like, oh, we put it out there. You guys who saw it, saw it. You guys who didn't, did it. We're not going to reap any repercussions. Nothing like that's going to happen. Everything's going to be great because we put it out there in your face. You know, some people will still see this ad and they'll just blow over. They'll be like, oh, it's nothing. Just like I haven't seen any news outlets talking about it. I haven't seen any big media talk about this. The only thing they've been talking about is Kanye hanging out with Nick Fuentes and showing up randomly to a dinner with Trump. That's all I've been seeing them talk about. Nothing about Balenciaga. You even have Kim Kardashian coming forth saying, I need to, I need to re-look at my, my partnership and relationship with Balenciaga. I need to investigate to see what was going on. They apologized and said they had no clue and they're so sorry. So basically what Kim Kardashian is saying is, I like Balenciaga enough to where I can let this go, even though I have nothing but children in my house. And if I put my children up here in the ad with BDSM teddy bears, you know, I would forget about it. And I would just maybe rethink my relationship. Like, <laughs> these folks are jokes, bro. These folks are jokes. And Balenciaga should be ashamed. Me personally, I don't wear Balenciaga. I hate designer clothes. You pay for literally a, a, a designer shirt, bro. This Nike shirt probably cost $10. If it said Balenciaga, it would go for $600. I never understood that. Like, what, do you, what are we paying for? A shirt's a shirt. Is, is it made out of bulletproof cotton? Is it anti-stab? Is it anti-fire? Like, I, I don't get it. And then they make ugly shoes. Like, these brands have gotten, just not even with the demonic agendas they do, the brands have gotten so out of touch with what... They know people are going to pay for it at this point. So they just make trash. Like, I seen Balenciaga make a shoe that's completely destroyed. And they sold it. And they're selling it for like $2,500. And it's like dirty. Like, it's been through mud. It's holes in it. It's tape attached to it. And I'm like, oh, where is this coming from, bro? Like, who's buying this? Who? Who? Like, I'm an owl. Who? I'm not. But anyways, man, I just want to bring forth this video because I'm just like, I see the Balenciaga stuff happening. People aren't really talking about it. They're kind of skipping over it. They're coming after the kids, man. They want the innocence of the kids because if they can't influence you with the agendas and you can speak out as an adult, they'll get the kids while their minds are malleable like Play-Doh, turn them to go towards a direction they don't need to go down. And yeah, they after the kids, man. They after the kids. As many of us has been... As many of us that's been warning about how these companies, brands, people trying to come after kids, it's crazy. And then I've even seen where, you know, people say, the, the right, the conservatives, they're so anti-LGBTQ. And I'm like, w what does sexualizing kids have to do with LGBTQ? And that's how they tell on themselves every single time. Just like with the anti, they said that anti-gay bill which said just don't teach sex to kindergartners to third graders don't teach sexual identity sexual intercourse none of that and they said you guys hate gay people so you link kids being sexualized to lgbtq that's weird bro like they're the ones who show themselves for what they really are like you show a kid holding a bdsm teddy bear and the first thing you say is the right, the conservatives, the Republicans, they hate the LGBTQ. You're weird, bro. Anyways, man, let me know your comments down below and what you guys think. As always, it has been your boy Chad. I'm out. Peace.